Hey, thanks again for tuning in to Revelations. Our next story comes from Westlake, Ohio, right outside of Cleveland. And we're visiting the Christian Educators Association International, also known as CEAI. And with me is Finn Larson, the Executive Director. Thanks for joining us, Finn. Hey, appreciate the opportunity to share our vision. You're welcome. Tell me a little bit about the Christian Educators Association International and, and, the, and the purpose of the ministry. Certainly, we are a professional association for Christian educators. And the unique thing about us, I believe, is we are the only association in this great nation that are supporting Christian educators that are working in our public schools. And for many of those teachers that we serve, we are an alternative to the NEA uh, and the other secular unions like the National Education Association is pouring millions upon millions of dollars of their memberships uh, dues uh, to anti-family causes and, and many teachers are, are leaving them, joining us and when they join us we provide them uh, professional liability as well as legal services if they should need that. But, but probably more important than that we provide them encouragement and e equipping them to legally live out their faith in the public schools. Yeah, I know Christian uh, teachers and this whole religious freedoms and separation of church and state, it's a, it's a big issue right now. So you're helping them navigate those waters. Exactly, and there's a lot of confusion. So we, we invest a lot of energy with our, with our members, getting them to understand that our forefathers intended to set up walls that would keep the government out of religious issues, not religious issues out of the government, if you will. Exactly, and uh, we need to equip the church to come alongside and help that, that cause. Well, listen, stay tuned as we continue to go behind the scenes and get some interviews with some board members and some other Christian teachers, as well as some supporters of the ministry. So stay tuned. I was thinking the other day about the subject of religious freedoms in public schools and the separation of church and state. How many of us have been misinformed and bought into a lie regarding this subject? Pastors, congregations, Christian teachers, Christian administrators, in fact, basically the general public. The statement of separation in church and state came up so often when I was a teacher. People said, you can't do that. Separation of church and state's not in the Constitution. I think probably the greatest goal of the ministry of Christian educators is to always help administrators, teachers, and power professionals to understand what they have as a right as an American and we're protected in our free speech, and prayer is free speech. My first year teaching, I did not know that there were other believers in my school. I honestly felt like I was the only one. And then my second year, I was approached by another believer, and um, we actually started a prayer group, and um, it made all of the difference in the world. I think one of the biggest resources is one another, to connect Christian teachers with one another, that they can uh, lock arms, so to speak, and they can encourage one another and pray for one another and, and work together. Uh, we need to, to be together to be encouraged. I think that's how God made us as Christians. Teachers in the public school can transform their classroom by just living the fruits of the Spirit. Love and joy and peace, goodness, kindness and gentleness, faithfulness, self-control and patience. There's no law against that. And when they do those kind of acts of kindness to their students, the kids notice. And they will often come to a teacher like that and ask, why are you always happy? And then you have an open door to tell them what you believe in. Uh, my classroom is a mission field. It's my own personal mission field. Um, I am in contact with 130 students every day and some of them are believers and others are most certainly not. I want to make sure that I am aware that I'm a representative of Christ. You know, one of the things that a lot of people know is you can actually use the Bible in school right in the classroom. It's a textbook just like any other textbook. And anytime you do that, share a quote from the Bible or share a passage, so many teachers will just throw up their arms like, ah, separation church and state, you can't do that. That's not true at all. It is perfectly legal to read the Bible during the school day in an instructional time. Meet me at the poll. We do it once a week and um, we take prayer requests to see who, who needs prayer and for what. This was a group started by the students. The student asked me if I could sponsor it and, and just monitor it, but it's a total, totally student-led. Christian Educators provides our members with all kinds of resources. Our members receive uh, books from us. They receive information on what it means to teach in their class from a Christian perspective as opposed to uh, uh, from a non-Christian perspective. 
I think the ministry is helping uh, teachers in significant ways really understand, first of all, their legal rights. Uh, there's a lot of confusion out there in terms of what's legal in public schools. Uh, there's some very sound publications that we offer uh, that spells all that out. And of course, uh, advice. A teacher can call up and, and uh, if they're stuck in a, a sticky situation or an uncertain situation, they can call the office and they can get, get advice to know um, what they can do, can't do, and, and, and advice in terms of what they ought to do in a situation. The purpose of the CEAI ministry is to come alongside and empower Christian teachers basically in a public school setting, although it includes homeschoolers and Christian school teachers as well. If teachers are looking for an association that has no political ties, that's where Christian Educators is the strongest. Knowing that there's an organization that is out there to support teachers, not only me but also my students, to know that it's okay for us to talk about the Lord. It's okay for us to stand for what, for what we believe and know that we also have a backbone, somebody that will give us advice if something comes up. As a teacher and a principal, I found it so helpful to go to the website and check out the free resources that Christian Educators has to offer to teach me how to legally live out my faith in school. If you're a public school educator, we'd like you to contact us right now. Go to our website. It's www.ceai.org. Uh, we have many resources there for you. You can join right online or you can call one of our consultants at our toll-free number at 888-798-1124. That's 888-798-1124. Together, with the power of the Holy Spirit, we can transform our public schools.